Hello, you are welcome how to solve this problem. Root 3, then root 9, then root 27. So everything is under the first root, then we have another root, we have another root. So equals to 81 raised to power 3x here. So here, we can take the square on both sides, and here we have root 3 then root 9 under that root we have root 27 as well which is equal to 81 raised to power 3x from here when we take the square on both sides we square this side then we square this other side as well we square this other side as well then from here square we remove the first square root then we are left with 3 root 9 then under that root we still have root 27 then equals to here this power multiplied from the law of indices and we have 81 raised to power 2 times 3x that will be 6x and also from here let's take the square on both sides again so the square on this side we square this side and also we square this side then the square here we affect 3 and we affect this square root so 3 square we have 3 square then square cancel square root here then we have times 9 root 27 which is equals to also this 2 multiplies this so we have 81 raised to power 12 x 2 times 6 that's 12 then here we can rewrite this as 3 raised to power 2 times 9 can also be written as 3 raised to power 2 then root 27 equals to 81 raised to power 12x and then from here this multiplies so we can apply the law of indices and we can write this as 3 raised to power 4 so we had the power because that's multiplication then root 27 which is equal to 81 raised to power 12 x again let's take the square on both sides so the square on both sides square we affect 3 raised to power 4 a and we also affect root 27 so 3 raised to power 4 raised to power 2 that's 2 times 4 that's 8 that's 3 raised to power 8 here then times square here we cancel square root then times 27 which is equal to 2 also multiply this and that's 81 raised to power 24x and the next step we express this also to base 3 and we can say this is 3 raised to power 8 times 3 raised to power 3 27 can be written as that then equals to we have 3 raised to power 4 as 81 then times 24x then from here this has the same base as well from the law of indices then we can have the power then this becomes 3 raised to power 8 plus 3 that's 3 raised to power 11 equals to when we multiply this we have 3 raised to power 96x then now we have same base we can equate what we have in the power then 11 equals to 96x so divide both sides by 96 so as to get x. 96 comes to 96 here. And here x is equal to 11 over 96. To check from what we have, check if this value of x is correct. Let's substitute the value of x here. And when we write this particular expression on the left, we have root 3, then root 9. 9 then root 27 of course 27 plus 27 is 27 raised to power half and 27 can also be expressed as 3 raised to power 3 that will now be 3, 3 over 2 so that means we have root 27 here because 3 raised to power 3 is 27 then root is same thing as 10 raised to power half then equals to here we have 81 raised to power 3 times 11 over 96 and then from here when we simplify this 
Also, we can write this nine here as instead of writing nine, we can make it three raised to the power two from here. And then when we have the same base, we can add the power. And this become three raised to the power seven over two. When we add this power together, so that gives us seven over two. So we can write this as root three, then root three raised to the power seven over two. Then which is equal to here three goes here one three goes here we have 32 so that's 81 raised to power 11 over 32 and then also from here this root also means multiply by half so if i remove this root now then it means we multiply the power here by half so multiply by half so in another way that means we can write this as root 3 multiplied by here, it becomes 3 raised to the power 7 over 4. This is 7 over 4 from here. 2 times 2, that's 4. Then equals to here, 81, we can express this as 3 raised to the power 4, then times 11 over 32. Then from here, also, this is 3 raised to the power 1, and we have same bit. So when we add the power together, that will give us root. 3 raised to power 11 over 4 here now, which is equal to here, 4 can go here, 1, 4 go here, we have 8. So we have 3 raised to power 11 over 8 here. And then also here, this root can be written as raised to power my raised to power half rather. So this 3 raised to power 11 over 4, then times half. Is it equal to 3 raised to power 11 over 8? If this is correct, then our solution is right and when we see it here 2 we multiply 4 and this is 3 raised to the power 11 over 8 which is equal to 3 raised to the power 11 over 8 so here we have the value of x therefore since the left and the right answer are equal therefore the value of x here is equal to 11 over 96 thank you for watching subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video see you in the next class and bye for now